Bora. Bora. Retro Rob plays everything. Hey Rob here, and today we're looking at the Arcade Classics Frogger, which I was tipped off to by a viewer uh, when I was doing a review of the Tiny Arcade, who said, hey, they have got these at Walmart for 15 bucks. Now, this was $20, and it's significantly larger, as you can see here. We'll do a little bit more comparison later, but it's really not bad, and I'll show you why in a minute. Now, I have seen the... Uh, Asteroids version of this and the Asteroids version I felt was total crap, but this This is not too bad. So anyway, uh, $20 takes three AA batteries. Here's the front of it. It's kind of a generic uh, Packaging honestly Frogger arcade machine blah 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 There's the top It has a very uh, terrifying looking Frogger on it with I don't know, coat, and then the bottom, also kind of generic. Like I said, very generic packaging, but the machine itself, if you try it out, and let's power that up, has a really nice screen to it. And that's another thing to note, you hear the music? Can you hear it? Well, if you cannot, I don't think it's the original Frogger music, and I've heard that that is because the original Frogger music actually was ripped off from <laughs> from a kids show in Japan and they can't use it anymore for any new versions of Frogger so you're gonna end up with something else alright let's unbox this thing by the way this is number six there are a number of other ones I also have a uh, Cubert one a Cubert one if anybody's interested in it I'm definitely gonna check that one out but uh, if anybody's interested in me doing a video let me know and I will definitely do that one alright here we go. What do we get in the box? Another box. No, but we do get a manual here. And there that is. Instructions and game rules, very standard. Actually, pretty nice little manual here in very decent English. A bit about battery installation and an FCC notice. I don't see what's on. No, I don't see. No, I'm looking inside the box right now. I don't see a little pamphlet that shows you more of these. Why wouldn't they? Huh. All right. I have not seen this particular configuration before. What the heck is that? <laughs> that. It's very serious about keeping... Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, it twists off. Look at it, it's got little arrows. Alright. <laughs> it's... Ugh. Fighting me. There we go. All right, and turn, and I think this one might turn the other way. And let's see. Yeah, these are turning and falling off. It's really not bad packaging, honestly. Let's see. Yeah, see they slid into little tabs in the back. Here appears to be a thing to pull out. The battery. And there we go, there's Frogger. Let's play around, shall we? And maybe zoom in on it. Be right back. Okay, some notes on construction, etc. First we have the on-off button, which becomes enabled the minute you pull out the tab right here. So now this thing will only power up if I hit the power button like this. There we go. It takes about a second to come up. Um, screen is nice and bright. I mean, I don't think you can complain about that. I'll show you in a minute that the music isn't original. 
It's got an okay marquee. It is not as fancy as something like the little Galaxy right here that has, uh, if you've seen this, this sucker actually has a little light up marquee. Oh wait, let me turn it on. There we go, you see how the marquee lights up on this? Not this one. Uh, proportionally, it's a little bit off. If you look, there's some attention to detail issues on the top deck here. Look really close, you see how that's off? Yeah, you can definitely see that. On the side, however, these are not stickers. They're actually printed on, so these aren't going to come off. I can't actually scrape these off, so that's kind of interesting. Looking at the back, it's okay. The plastics, the plastics are okay. They don't feel like they're going to fall apart. They're not as, say, high quality as this little guy right here, but they're really not that bad. And then volume-wise, it's pretty decent, but I don't, I don't know if, wait. See that? It, it sounds a little bit distorted, but anyway, you can press it several times, you get several different volume qualities. I'm going to zoom in in a minute and tell you a little bit about actually playing it. And you can hear that music is mm, definitely not the real thing. Alright, let's play around on it. Alright, so let's play this sucker. As mentioned, on off button, volume control is variable. Nice, right? It is so reminiscent. The uh, the sound is so reminiscent of the original Frogger, but it is not it. All right, let's uh, press start and get into a game, shall we? The buttons are made of probable cancer plastic, but they work really good. I mean, this stick, I've played a couple rounds with it, and this stick really does work. Hasn't missed a beat. And I like that it at least changes up the music a little bit. Nice. The jumping sound is a wee bit off. Come on. There we go. Really impressive how well this stick works considering how cheap it is. Yeah. <laughs> Speaker's horrendous. All right, so there we go. And same thing except faster. Notice how now up on the top there I've got an alligator. But I don't think you need to see that much more of it. So uh, how do I feel about the thing? Well, look, it's a $20 device. It's not... It's not like the most amazing thing I've ever seen, don't get me wrong. And it's not quite as cute as, you know, the world's smallest arcade. However, the game does play really well. And even though it doesn't use the real Frogger music, legally they couldn't use the real Frogger music. So, the music is a good substitution. Again, not exactly the theme, but kind of sounds like it. Gameplay is pretty much dead on and I will tell you that if you look really close over here you can see that there's actually a little bit of a of a guide to make sure that you're only going in four directions and that really helps the gameplay a lot it plays really well and it's pretty well implemented if you're in the market for this kind of thing and you think you can put up with the the art which is kind of a little bit odd and the fact that it doesn't actually look like a full arcade machine uh, it's fun to play you know it, it, it has that one thing that it needs to be which is fun so thumbs up 
Not bad at all, especially next to some of the more cancerous things I've played. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in a couple days. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos